Welcome to the Activated Checklist module from Way We Do. Activated Checklist boosts productivity and accountability by employees, franchisees or volunteers and fits seamlessly in your Way We Do manual. They are designed to embed process and procedure within your team's day-to-day -day workflow, either prior, during and after doing a job so nothing is ever forgotten. Activated checklists can be used for any type of workflow, such as onboarding new customers or employees, projects, audits, compliance inspections, testing and preparation lists, to name a few. There are hundreds of ways to use activated checklists in your business or organisation. Way we do is the activated checklist works alongside other workflow systems, or they can be used as a standalone tool. They can be used on any device, including mobiles, tablets, and desktop computers. The visual nature of Way We Do's activated checklist makes it an easy to use quality control and management tool because managers can see exactly how the team is progressing while giving freedom, clarity, and autonomy the team needs to meet their individual goals. Activated checklists appear in the manual as procedure cards, much like other procedures and policies. You will be able to easily identify checklist cards by the small checklist icon in the top left corner. To create a new checklist, click the Add New button in the top right of the manual screen. Then select the Create a Checklist option. Begin creating the checklist by adding a title. The title should be simple and descriptive. Next, add a purpose or description for the checklist in the box below the title. The purpose can provide details about why the checklist should be completed or it can contain specific instructions for completing the checklist. Add steps to your checklist by clicking on the Add Step field, typing the step title and then hitting the Enter button on your keyboard. Each step represents a part of your process or workflow. Your cursor will automatically be placed into the next Add Step field to add another step. As you create each step, the right side of the screen will contain options for adding additional criteria for the step. Options include assigning a role to the step or determining a prerequisite step. You can also choose whether the step should be mandatory or optional and if you would like to enable comments for the step. When your team submit comments against each step, the feedback is recorded along with their name, date and time of entry. Way We Do is built upon an API, allowing integration of checklist comments into CRM systems, workflow systems and help desk systems, for example. Administrators who are interested in learning more about these options should contact the Way We Do support team for more information. To ensure your team knows how to implement the step, you can simply add an existing procedure or work instructions you have created within Way We Do, or start from scratch by clicking the Write Your Own option. The editor offers all of the same editing functionality as other Way We Do procedures, so you can easily add text, images, videos, forms, and other useful elements to your new content. Within each checklist, you also have the option to add a final supervisor sign-off step. When enabled, the supervisor sign-off option adds an extra level of accountability to the checklist and assists with quality control. To enable this function, simply click the step titled Add a Supervisor Sign-off. You will then be prompted to select the role you would like assigned as the supervisor of the activated checklist. Your team will select the individual's name who is assigned to that role when they complete the checklist. A notification email will be sent to the selected supervisor to review their work and sign off it has been completed correctly. Checklists offer the same publishing status options as other procedures, so you can save the checklist as a draft, submit it to other editors for review, or choose to publish it outright by using the status options provided in the upper left corner of the screen. When you are finished editing and have chosen the status for your checklist, click the Save button to save your changes. 
Like all other policies and procedures on Way We Do, you can create additional criteria to your new checklist by using the buttons on the right of the screen. If the checklist is a recurring task, you can assign frequencies to the task and reminder emails will be sent to people assigned to the roles responsible. You can also add attachments such as Microsoft Word or Excel templates to the checklist. If you would like the checklist to appear in a certain area of your company manual, or even multiple areas, you can assign the location using labels. You can add revision reminders to make sure your checklists are reviewed regularly by editors, and if desired, restrict your procedures so that they may only be viewed by the roles responsible for them. If you have questions or require assistance in creating and editing your activated checklist, you can contact the Way We Do team at support at wayweDo.com or simply click the help button on the bottom right of your screen.